getting ready, ready to see. I'm getting ready, ready to see. Cause God's doing a new thing. Yes, God's doing a new thing. I'm getting ready, ready to see. No eye hasn't seen, no ear hasn't heard. All of the blessings, all of the blessings that are about to fall on me. I'm getting ready, ready to see. Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be um, talking about Isaiah 43, 19. This is the New International Version and it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Um, and I just want to talk to you all about this um, for a little bit, that God is, God is doing a new thing. Um, and it is what right now it is almost December. It is almost December 17th. And um, the remaining days that we have left of this year, God still has purpose for those days. I know some of you are like, um, you just want 2020 to be over with. And it's been a really challenging year. And just it seems like you just want this year to go away. Just 2020 just go away. Um, but I also want to remind you that God still has a lot of beautiful things he's going to do um, with the with the rest of this year. Some of you, um, there's going to be some winter weddings. Woo! For some of you, some winter engagements. Um, for some of you, um, you're just going to have healings and breakthroughs like you've never, ever thought. For some of you, you're going to be traveling to new places and to see new people. Um, I don't know if you guys, there's this song and it's, um, it's a really old song. It's probably before, it's definitely before my time, but it's, um, it goes like tonight, it's gonna be a night to remember, get ready. Tonight, it's gonna be a night to remember. And the Lord has just been speaking to me and I feel like this could be prophetically for some of you as well, that it's going to be a December to remember um, for some of you that might feel like, mm, I don't know, or I've been trying to do this, or I've been trying to go to this place or that place, and it just hasn't been working. Um, that that um, for some of you, it's going to be a December to remember. So like the song says, get ready. Tonight is going to be a night to remember, but it's going to be a December to remember. Um, so I just want to, um, you know, leave you with that and, and take that with the Lord and, and pray about that if that is for you. Um, about it being a December to remember and what he has for you for the rest of these December days before we enter 2021. Um, and I'll probably upload some other videos I had from like last year around this time. You might see that coming soon. Um, some words of encouragement. Um, but yeah, God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. So for some of you, we, I mean, including me, like we have looked at the new thing that God is trying to spring forth in our lives. We're looking at that new thing and we're contaminating it with the old, with the things that God is like, this is a new thing. So for some of us, it's old habits, old thoughts, old ways, old attitudes and mindsets um, that we still haven't shifted out of yet. And for some of you, God is trying to bring the new in, whether it's that new school or the new job or that new relationship or the new career field that you're want, wanting to start, that new maybe YouTube channel that you want to do. And you might be thinking of all the past mistakes. You might be thinking of like, am I qualified? Can I do this? You might be thinking like, well, this didn't work out before. Or you might be thinking, um, I don't even want to think about that because of the failed relationship in the past or the failed job that I've had or whatever it is that it might be for you. You might think like, I don't even want to really accept this new thing because I'm fearful of it. For some of us, you know, when God is trying to bring in the new, we have sometimes fears of the unknown and uncertainty. And we're like, I don't know what this, I don't know how this is going to work. And I don't know how this is going to be. And 
and we have fears of the unknown and you have to allow God to work on your heart with that and surrender control and ask God to help you with that fear. Um, but God, he is doing a new thing. And, and it says, don't you recognize it? Don't you recognize the new thing? So don't um, contaminate the new with the old because um, this time it's going to be different. I just, I hear God saying, this time it's going to be different. You might have went and took the test and failed, but this time it's going to be different. You might have got into a relationship and that person broke your heart, but this time it's going to be different. You might have tried out um, a new activity and you might be like, uh, I don't know this if this is for me or if I can even do it. God is saying this time it's going to be different. For some of you, you have been trying and trying and trying for things for years, and it seems like it's not working out. And God is saying this time it's going to be different. So, um, yeah, I just want to come on and encourage you. This time it's going to be different. So get ready, because it's going to be a night to remember. Um, but yeah, so just get ready. Get ready to receive. Like, I know for me, like, I've been reflecting on 2020 and like looking at all the lessons that I've learned and like the people in my life and just reflecting and um, even thinking of what God is wanting to do in um, 2021. So um, for some of you who have been watching me for a while, God gives me like a word every year. So 2018, he gave me breakthrough. 2019, he gave me restoration. 2020, he gave me vision. Um, and that was pertaining to more supernatural vision. People are like, of course, it's 2020, right? Like perfect vision. Um, but uh, mine was ne not necessarily related to perfect vision, but more of the vision for my business, the vision for my YouTube channel, the vision for my family, the vision for my marriage, the vision for, I mean, like almost everything. And, and, um, and actually experiencing more like dreams and visions. So that was more for this year. And he's already given me a word for 2021. Um, and I'm so, so excited. Um, and that word is influence. Um, so he gives me a word every, every year. And um, so I would encourage you, um, you all to, you know, it doesn't have to be that, like it could be different for somebody, like how God speaks to you. But um, sometimes God will give us, you know, things to focus on and, and meditating on his word, too. Um, but, yeah, I'm so, so excited and I appreciate you all. So get ready because God, he's bringing in the new. So get ready to receive it in the name of Jesus um, and that it will be your portion, that, that some of the things that you've experienced in the past, forgive and let it go. I don't know who needs to hear that, but forgive and let it go because God is getting ready to bring in and birth through you something so much more amazing. So just always remember, whenever someone walks out of your life, someone leaves you, let them go because God is going to bring someone so much more amazing back in your life. Whenever, like this year, I was dismissed from my, my university, you know, I wouldn't, would have never even thought but God brought something so much, but I'm at so much of a better university right now. Like I actually thank God for that dismissal because I'm like, God, this is so much better. Like who would have even thought? So trust God that he knows what he's doing when people walk out of your life, when people break your heart, when um, he shifts you or he, mo he moves you, whether you got laid off from your job, you got fired from your job, you had to leave your job for some other reason, like trust God in that process of what he's doing, of the new thing that he wants to bring. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go because y'all know I can talk, um, I can talk all day about just the amazingness of God and the things that he wants to do and 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 feeling that presence of God and, and shifting the atmosphere through just what you speak out of your mouth and worship. Um, but I'm gonna say that all for next time. So thank you all so much for watching The Janae Well Show. And I will catch you all later. Bye, guys and dolls.